the Holliston Police Log for May 20th through 26th, 2020. May 20th, soliciting on Chamberlain. The same pest control company that was advised last week is out of control. Back soliciting. No soliciting is allowed and advised. Next time, they're subject to arrest. Complaint, Miller Elementary School. Report of high school age kids on the roof. Three individuals were removed. They belong on the roof of the high school. Suspicious activity on exchange. Reporting party states she saw two male parties carrying what appeared to be a diamond-shaped sign that would be used for construction. Or maybe they're planning to build something with it. <laughs> May 21st, 4 a.m., suspicious activity on Oak. Carla reports a black Jeep pulled into their driveway. Multiple parties exited the vehicle and went into the woods near their home earlier in the evening. If they're not back by noon, sell the Jeep. <laughs> Assist citizen Mark Tree, calling party reported receiving multiple emails from an unknown party pretending to be her minister requesting gift card payments. Tell the caller you will ask for confirmation from a higher authority. <laughs> Marshall Street soccer fields, two people removed. ID theft on Mitchell. Calling party reports someone claimed unemployment in their name. Well, maybe you were fired and didn't get the email. <laughs> Suspicious motor vehicle on Pope Road. But first, Framingham residents block your ears for the next six seconds. Caller reports a suspicious motor vehicle has been driving up and down the street. Turns out the person was practicing for the driver's license test. May 22nd, complaint on Pinecrest Golf Course. Complaint for golfers not wearing masks or social distancing. So to be safe, avoid contact with golfers for the next 14 days. <laughs> Complaint on Washington. Bank teller reported a person in a small Honda or Toyota appeared to be intoxicated and was seen holding a 40 ounce container of alcohol while driving through the teller line. Could it be hand sanitizer? Hmm. Animal incident on Hollis. Several animals are out of the fence. Now the cow is back in the fence. The caller is attempting to make contact with the owners. Try ringing the cowbell. <laughs> May 23rd, animal incident on Mill. Calling party reported a dog missing from the backyard. Described as a small Yorkie, completely shaved except around the head. Well, who could blame it for taking off? Started park, multiple parties cleared from the park. May 24th, animal incident on Arch. Call reports that two pot-bellied pigs are back in their home in case any calls come in. Oh, Highway's going to be disappointed to hear that. Noise complaint, the rail trail at Wedgwood. Caller reported parties talking loudly while walking by. Yeah, but that's quiet compared to what a passing train would sound like. Noise complaint on Catherine. Neighbor playing loud music in the driveway all day coming from a blue Ford Focus advised. That's an expensive radio. May 25th, complaint, Lake Grove Cemetery. Calling party reported large amount of foot traffic in the area, not properly social distancing. But it's hard to keep your feet six feet apart. May 26th, animal incident on Shaw Farm. Calling party reported foxes living on the property. Stated that one growled at her yesterday. Well, it's your yard, growl back. Fraud on Locus and Underwood, calling parties reported receiving calls from an unknown person requesting their social security number. Just for fun, give them phony numbers. And lastly, a noise complaint on Washington. Calling party reported hearing loud screams coming from the neighbor's backyard. Described as screaming because someone is hurt, not a fun scream. Checked okay. The neighbor was watching the movie Bride of Frankenstein. During the reporting period, one citation and nine warnings were issued, four erratic drivers were reported, one arrested, and dispatchers logged 435 calls. Canine Mattis practiced searching for articles and evidence. But wait, there's more. Are you still helping the kids at home with schoolwork? Here's a little diversion that will amaze them and works on their math skills at the same time. Roll tape. First. Write 1089 on a piece of paper. Huh? Fold it. 
place it on the table. Next, ask someone for a three digit number. The only rules are that all three digits must be different and the first digit has to be higher than the last. Ask your mark to write the number down. For example, nine, eight, three. Then reverse it and write that number underneath the first. Three, eight, nine is beneath it. Subtract the lower from the higher, which is 594. Then add that number to its reverse, which is 495. The answer will always be 1089, which you will then reveal on the piece of paper you wrote on earlier, instantly establishing you in your Mark's mind as a mathematical genius. Well, that's the log for this week, so let's be careful out there. For the Holliston Police Log, I'm Paul Saulnier.